All right, how about some food, a finale, and some reggae? We've Ooh. got that and much more in today's Puro Picks. Stephanie Guerra joins us with Puro Rhymes with Flinche. <laughs> we can't say it, though. Uh, we can't say it, but I love the fact that you bring us stuff that people, I mean, you need to be in the know to know about this, and so I'm glad we can let our right. audience know. If you know, you know. You have to watch a case at 6.30 on Fridays to find I, out. And this is my favorite. <laughs> uh, sorry. But this is my favorite 6.30 segment all oh, week long. There you go. Because you always have something that I haven't heard anywhere else. I appreciate that. Yeah. So we're going to talk reggae first. Yes. So um, tomorrow is the 2023 San, San Antonio Reggae Festival at Rosedale Park. This very great festival has been going on for a very long time, so they know their music and they bring the headliners. Um, tomorrow, they're featuring Alex Rebel Marley and a ton of other performers from 2 to 11 p.m. Um, it's really great. It's family fun. Um, I think kids under maybe like 10 or 11 are actually free, um, but you know all the music. All the meat, all the food, and, and it's at Rosedale Park. It's like yeah. iconic to have yeah. anything yeah. at Rosedale Very Park. Very easy to Love get that. to as yeah. well. All right, and uh, okay, I'm assuming <laughs> that once you do that, you might want some food. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, there's. Now, we're going all over the city this weekend. So okay. Rosedale Park and the Inner yeah. West Side. Out in Hell Lotus, there is a venue, a beautiful venue called Josabi's. They have concerts there. They have weddings there. I've, I've been there. Beautiful yeah. event venue. They've been adding on to it. They're showing off Josabi's and all of their neighbors tomorrow with a taste of Josabi's food festival. Doors open at five o'clock. They also have a discount for you on tickets if you bring a canned food donation that goes back to San Antonio Food Bank. But they also have great music tomorrow along with the food. Uh, George DeVore, Paco Estrada, and Faya, which we've talked about before, local yeah. punk rock band. Um, but it's a lot of family fun, and it's on the north side of town. So we have people all over watching, and we get to run into them when we're out. But it's good to see what's going on everywhere. And it, it sounds like the music is very different yes. at that particular thing. I mean, they have yes. a little bit of a little bit of everything. All three uh, bands are all different genres yeah. of music. Um, and it really is fun for all ages. Josabi's, um, the owners, they take care of everybody and make sure everyone has a great time. All right, and Josabi's is going to be the provider of all of the food? They have different restaurants ah, that are going to be featuring their it. food there. Yes. So you get, it's kind of like, you know, the Fiesta events, like a taste yes. of. Um, so you get a taste of Josabi's. So you'll get a bunch of different food um, and drink options tomorrow with your ticket price. Yeah, so now we're gonna head to King William. We're gonna head to Southtown <laughs> for the Brick, right? The Friendship we Market love brick. is what it's called? Yes, yeah. Um, so Sunday is International Friendship Day. Oh, so I'm so glad we're friends I now. Know. We can That's celebrate great. together. Yeah. 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 I, I will say growing up, I never thought um, I would be friends with Steve Spreester and Ursula Perry. So <laughs> well, this is amazing. there you go. <laughs> yeah. Goals. Yeah. Because you all are amazing. Thank yes. You. Um, so there's a friendship market tomorrow morning hosted by Que Bonita Crafts and Designer. And they've got a great... Um, lineup of you know 30 plus vendors um celebrating friends so all of the arts and crafts and jewelry will be themed around friends i bet you you'll see some golden girls you know yeah. all kinds of things i know myra's not here but yeah. we can throw that in for yeah. her yeah she's watching at home she knows <laughs> but, and it's but inside yes. and it's indoors yeah. yes we're continuing to keep up with indoor events because it is so hot Right, and it will be hot tomorrow, <laughs> we guarantee it. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, the, this one's for Steve, the final oldies you chill at yes. the squeeze box. So, we've been talking a lot about Not the North St. Mary's. <laughs> no, no, I mean, these are, this is, this is I, uh, the squeeze box is going out of business. Yes, so we've talked a lot about the North St. Mary's Strip yes. and all of the troubles that they've been going through. Squeeze box has been around for seven years. Um, and unfortunately, just due to, you know, the last three years of different issues, construction, um, yeah. closures, COVID, everything, they have made the decision that this is the, the, the end of their run. Aww. It's been a good run, seven years is a long time for a bar, but it's going to be an awesome celebration on Sunday night with San Antonio's own Sunny Ozuna, um, with, of Sunny and the Sunliners, classic musician, Chicano soul, but he's 
still around. He's not yeah. that. He's not old. He's still performing. Great music. People, obviously, 21 and up can go. LA 45 is another great San Antonio band, all vinyl DJ set. And of course, you can't have a finale without mariachis. So you cannot. it's going to be a really fun party Sunday night I at imagine this Imagine there'll box. be some tears. This, <laughs> you know, I, it's always yes. sad when, when someone yeah. has to close their doors. One of Sonny Ozuna's songs is actually Smile Now, Cry Later. <laughs> so it's a good it's fit. Appropriate. <laughs> all right, we missed one the Paper Trail essay at the Rock oh. Box from 11 till 7 on Sunday. Yes, and you cannot miss Paper Trail. Paper Trail is one of my favorite events all year long, and it is probably one of the top places I buy local art and prints okay. for my home. So um, they have, I, I don't know, maybe close to like 100 vendors of printmaking um, styles. So you will find everything from like lowbrow to highbrow to DIY in between. Um, it's at the Rockbox over on East Houston Street, 11 to 7. It's a great event. Be ready to shop. So many prints that are just you can see the San Antonio pouring out of the artist. Kind of over you know, where the Spaghetti great. Warehouse used to be to give you yes. an idea where it is. It is near yeah. the old Spaghetti Warehouse. By the way, somebody please buy that and do something with it. I know. <laughs> Every time I go by there, I'm like, I can't believe somebody didn't, because it's a great building. Oh, yeah. Maybe the squeeze yeah. box will move over there. <laughs> I think that he has other plans. He does. Right have, now. You yeah. should definitely keep up with Squeezebox social media. Their owner is opening a couple new bars, yeah. um, and they are opening very soon. He's a busy guy. <laughs> All right, and finally, we've got a film festival. Yes. This Not is, just a film festival. This is the yes. film festival. San Antonio film. film Festival is now in its 29th year, um, which is awesome. The organizer, Adam Rocha, you know, like, they have, they have put together a great lineup of films. They have everybody from young filmmakers that are in high school programs to indie filmmakers, documentaries, and then, you know, more well-known filmmakers that are presenting in the film festival. And it's awesome because it's also all over the city. So it's downtown at the Tobin Center and the Radius Center, and then at Santico's Palladium over up on the north side as well. But you will see films all week long from August 1st to August 8th. Um, and it's a really, really great cause. You're going, you're we know the workers and the writers yeah. are on strike right now. This is where it's important to start at the local level, support your support your local filmmakers. Um, and it's just great to get out and see new stuff by people you may know. Yeah. And some of these are going to end up winning awards, oh, yeah. not only here, but, but elsewhere throughout Always. the country. Yes. Uh, we, you know, we recently talked about um, Cine Festival, which mm -hmm. is based on Latino filmmakers. Um, you know, SA Film Festival is a great indie film festival that has been around forever that does also see local filmmakers rise up to bigger screens. So it's really important. Get out, enjoy, support it. No matter where you live in town. Yeah. In fact, to I mean, we've got reggae, <laughs> you've no got excuses. food, you've got the finale. <laughs> like I said, if, the, if you think there's nothing going on in San Antonio, you're not watching <laughs> That's right. Stephanie on Fridays. Keep it boo. Or following you on and social media. And pay attention. Media. That's when right. are we going to sleep? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, we're going to be too busy. We don't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new logo. Yeah. Stephanie never sleeps. Thank you. Great to see you. Yes, have a great weekend, you everyone. Too. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.